enormous speed between the Ferrari and the Red Bull and they banged wheels approaching 190 miles for Lewis Hamilton Sauber that have only scored points once this year in the wheel tracks of a Ferrari what is going on right now when Lewis Hamilton pulled into the garage after Friday practice in Montreal there was no celebration no light-hearted banter with his engineers no casual words with the media just a quiet nod to his crew a quick word into the radio and then silence but something about him felt different this wasn't the usual frustration or confusion that's lingered around the sf25 in recent races this was measured focused almost like he knew something we didn't then came the only words anyone heard him say all afternoon much better but not there yet just five words but for hamilton they spoke volumes because this time it wasn't about a lack of grip, power or strategy mistakes. It was about a car that finally started to respond. A car that, for the first time in weeks, gave him something back. But what changed? Why now? And why here in Canada? There's more to this story than just set up tweaks or track conditions. Behind the scenes, Ferrari has made a move, a bold one. And if the whispers from Marinello are true, Hamilton may have just driven a very different SF25 than the one he raced in Spain. A car that doesn't just look sharper, but feels fundamentally more alive under his hands. What makes this even more intriguing is that news has started to leak from inside Ferrari's headquarters in Maranello. They haven't just made minor tweaks to the car's aero package or added a new wing for better airflow. No, the 2025 Canadian Grand Prix spec SF25 features deeper, more critical upgrades. Ferrari has rolled out a new set of innovations tailored specifically for Circuit Gilles Villeneuve's unique layout. Here's the twist. Many of these Formula One upgrades are hidden beneath the surface. These are not changes fans can see from the grandstands or through onboard cameras. Some are deep inside the car systems, quietly reshaping how the machine behaves how it manages hybrid energy, and how it reacts to every command from the driver. These aren't visual gimmicks. They are performance upgrades aimed at matching the demands of one of the most unpredictable tracks on the calendar. These hidden changes could have a massive impact on Hamilton's performance in Montreal. First, Ferrari introduced an upgraded cooling system. Circuit Gilles Villeneuve is known for its long straights and tight chicanes, a stop-start rhythm that pushes engines to their limits. The new cooling package ensures optimal engine temperature control, preventing power loss or reliability issues. This is especially important in Canada, where temperatures can swing quickly, and even the smallest miscalculation in cooling strategy can spell disaster. Then there's the upgraded energy deployment strategy. Ferrari has refined how the SF25 harnesses and delivers electrical power using the MGUK system. This key element of the hybrid power unit recovers braking energy and transforms it into on-demand speed boosts. With a more aggressive energy map, Hamilton now has power exactly when he needs it, during key overtaking zones or tight corner exits. In a race where milliseconds can separate triumph from heartbreak, these refinements in energy delivery could define the outcome. Another major change lies in the rear suspension, redesigned in response to Hamilton's detailed feedback. This upgrade improves traction while accelerating out of corners, crucial on a street circuit like Montreal, where every bit of grip counts. Combined with changes to brake migration, the SF25 now balances braking forces between the front and rear more efficiently, boosting control and stability into heavy braking zones like the hairpin. Ferrari has also fine-tuned the ERS energy recovery system to better handle heat management this tweak allows Hamilton to push harder for longer, with fewer power cutbacks triggered by overheating. This is a key advantage in modern Formula One, where energy conservation often limits a driver's attack. The ability to push without compromise means more strategic freedom and more opportunities to attack. Beyond mechanical upgrades, the most groundbreaking improvements may be digital. Ferrari has implemented a new suite of control software and live throttle modulation algorithms inside the SF25. These updates allow the car to adapt more seamlessly to Hamilton's driving style, especially his late braking and aggressive corner exits. For example, new software now manages throttle response in real time, 
optimizing how power is delivered based on grip and braking inputs. This gives Hamilton a sharper, more connected feel with the car. Additionally, the braking algorithm smooths engine behavior during deceleration, crucial on a track full of sudden stops like Montreal. These digital refinements essentially make the car more responsive to human input, which is vital when split-second decisions define an entire race. This digital transformation represents a quiet revolution within Ferrari's garage. It's not about what the car looks like on the outside. It's about how it thinks, how it responds, how it becomes a smarter, more adaptive racing machine. The SF25 is now starting to think like Hamilton. And the impact isn't just technical, it's emotional. These changes are not just about going faster, they're about building trust. After the disappointing Spanish Grand Prix, Hamilton needed more than just promises. He needed proof that Ferrari is listening, and these upgrades are that proof. This is Ferrari telling Hamilton, we hear you, we trust you, and we're willing to rebuild this car around you. By aligning the car's behaviour with Hamilton's instincts, Ferrari is showing commitment. This isn't just an update to chase lap time, it's a sign of a deeper partnership being formed. One where driver and team are truly in sync. One that could define the second half of the 2025 F1 season. And remember, trust is everything in Formula 1. More than horsepower, more than budget. Without it, teams crumble. With it, they win championships. If the upgrades perform as expected, Montreal could be the spark that reignites Hamilton's fight for podiums. Improved traction, energy efficiency, and a car tailored to his unique style give him a toolkit to challenge the front runners again. But if these updates fall short, the pressure on Ferrari will intensify. Doubts could resurface, momentum could stall. And in a sport where narrative matters almost as much as numbers, that shift in belief could be devastating. Let's also not forget the bigger picture, how the rest of the grid will respond. Red Bull, Mercedes and McLaren are watching closely. If Ferrari's upgrades succeed, it sends shockwaves through the paddock. It means they're no longer chasing shadows, but are actively rewriting their competitive destiny. It forces rival teams to react, to innovate faster, and to rethink strategies for the rest of the season. Montreal, then, is not just a race, it's a message. This race is more than just another stop on the F1 calendar. It's a statement. Has Ferrari finally delivered the breakthrough Hamilton has been waiting for? Or will Canada become another missed opportunity? It's a pivotal moment, not just for points but for belief, for narrative, for legacy. The SF25's transformation isn't just about horsepower or handling. It's about confidence. For a seven-time world champion used to driving at the edge, belief in the car is everything. These changes aim to give him that belief back. And if they succeed, the rest of the season could see a very different Lewis Hamilton, a more aggressive, more focused, and more dangerous contender. The outcome of the Canadian Grand Prix will reveal whether this evolution of the SF25 is a real turning point, or just another step in a longer struggle. Either way, the story unfolding in Montreal is one that could shape the remainder of the Formula One 2025 season. And now the world waits. Will this upgraded machine deliver? Will Hamilton rise with it? The lights are about to go out, and when they do, we'll see whether Ferrari's gamble pays off. If you want more Formula One insights, tech breakdowns, and Hamilton Ferrari updates, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Is the SF25 finally championship ready, or is the real battle still to come?